Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And on last week's video, we had the most deadly ball bearing explosion so far. But today we are going to beat those. I have a lot of improvements. They are not going to be anything compared to this day's video. And Gale Pop no brains knows that. He is ready to take whatever the press throws at him. And then we have this guy. He is first time here. I think <laughs> I think he looks that looks looks pop and he knows that he fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a good place to be. Yeah, and the idea, I made the angle like steeper. Thanks for the comments. And then, because I'm professional, I had to like add more ideas. This is going to be the bottom tool. So there is like, now it goes sideways. Definitely goes. Sideways and like on this level. Mm. So it's going to be great. Okay, and now we are going to do real work, hard work with the 300 ton press. And this actually needs 300 tons. Our goal here is to replace the middle of this part with the new one. And quite often with the 150 ton press that I have been using like 15 years to do this, quite often I don't have enough force and it's stuck and I have to heat up this with giant propane torch. But now we're going to use 300 tonner and we can measure how much force it actually takes. Only problem is that this is really, really heavy. And because this is so heavy, I need extra help. So our most dedicated viewer, woodworker Don, he came all, from, all the way from the United States just to push this part in with me. <laughs> Don't leave your fingers there anywhere. Oh, no. And that's pretty cool. I think I can, I can finish it off. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is uh, not meant to be used like this because we have the roof here. We can use the grain. And in general, this large part is like really sketchy to put in the workshop press. But I have solution. If you do this kind of job, the press that you need is a portal press. Mm. This is like workshop press. That's like our green press is workshop press. This is like that, but better in every way. And why it's better? Because it's bigger. Bigger is always better. And how the, how the size helps with this is the fact that if you have some large piece, let's say welded structure, and you have to straighten it. Usually if you have regular workshop press with fixed cylinder on the middle, you have to push the part inside of the machine, move the part there, all the around where, where it needs pushing, and that's slow, annoying and dangerous. But this, you lower it on the table, and then this moves like this, and this moves like this. So the big part, can stay on its place on the table and you just move the cylinder around. And you don't have to lock the frame to the table. When you start to crush, the uh, frame gets lifted from the ground and it's pushed against the table so it locks itself down. So it's really fast to use. And then, second trick, it gets better, at least for me because I have spent way too much time with regular workshop press, like this. And I have this big piece, weighs like 100 kilos, that I need to push. So I lower it with the grain here. Then I try to push it with other hand in and use the grain with other hand. So it's a bit annoying and dangerous. But with this, I could lower the heavy part here on the table and then just push or pull the press over the part, do my thing, push the press away, and then take the crane and the part away. So much, much better machine for all kinds of jobs. Of course, it takes a bit more space. So if you don't do the things that I mentioned often, maybe not worth it. But if you do a lot of that type of, type of work, then this is definitely better machine. And it's about half more expensive. So not that much money more on the machine and 
as I said, if you, if you do a lot of those works, it's going to pay itself on saved time and safer work. If you got sold on the idea that you need bigger and better press, there is email down in description. Just send email to us and let's get machine to you. We ship almost on every country and we have a lot of machine on stock here in Holland headquarters. Okay, it's ready. Time to guess how many tons. What's, what's ton is going to say? To push that out? Yeah. I say two. And it's rusty? Yeah, I say 215. 195. Okay, le let's see. I think that was quite easy one. Butter. It was super easy, it shows only 45 tons here. Yeah, I think we are going to put the new one in with the old machine so we can use the grain to lift that in. It was really bad to get that there. Yeah, I have to make sure that there isn't any shit here that would prevent the new, new, new middle part from going all the way in. Then it's uh, good to check that there isn't any like super deep scratches here. But it looks to be pretty smooth, so we don't have to do anything for that. Then if we want to keep it like that, it's good to add like little bit, little bit of, little bit of seasoning here. <coughs> yeah, this part would be also easier with the portal press. Now I have to just like, shove it here like filthy animal. I'm going to just push it from here. I have, I have done this like 25 times, it's completely okay. And it should go quite easily. Did you see like... Uh, yeah, I think, I think this has character. The new machine, it was so effortless. It didn't look like anything. And here it's like... I look much more like a man here, like, like <laughs> everything shaking and like, I probably had some shakeouts on the edit to make it even more dramatic. Okay, and then the main event of the day. Improved ball bearing in Baylor, 10 million. Let's start with the pressure ball bearing. And then the guys are ready to watch here. And this perfect placement, we can see both there from the Kronos high speed cameras. Okay, okay. here it goes. Ah, oh, that's terrifying. Oh. <laughs> it's jumping. Oh. There is a mark here, mm -hmm. and then that got hit in the face. But he had such a great safety equipment that I think he lived to tell, tell the story. Oh, there's like slight. Uh, I think we're going to pick up the next ball bearing and keep going because this clearly wasn't dangerous enough. Okay, we have options. First, I thought like this is going to be fun, but it's just too flimsy. There isn't like it's it's not strong enough. So let's skip that. Then I thought like let's do this, but the like outer ring and the balls they are just on the way, and it's really annoying when the balls get on the way. So I just took the middle part and look at this shit. That's just beautiful. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So now we're going to try this. And if it goes well, then I have this. That's the thick one that we didn't do last week. Okay, Don, you have seen the videos and you have seen the real thing. Is this really as bad as it looks on the videos? Not at all. This is. Perfect. It's like professional uh, operation. Super professional. I'm not sure can you trust that, but maybe <laughs> it is. Professional. Okay, let's let's hope that it hits the face. Ooh. Uh. Whoa! I think the melon got hit. Whoa. Whoa! I think the melon.
that, that, that was really loud. I think, I think we might have a, okay. Oh, oh, hey. I think it went through. I think that's the first time when we have an exit yeah. hole. <laughs> Should we go have a look at yeah, the high speed? Hey, it's on the like left side of its nose. There goes something like really yeah. fast. And there is some hits also to the... To yeah. the, the, the other ear. Just the ear yeah, yeah the, those ear protectors ear are, ear are really ear like covering it. I think we can see on the 4K, like the exit, exit yeah. wound on the, exit wound on the like guy. I think it goes it's just like behind it, you can see it. That's quite terrifying. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's knows. bleaking. Yeah. It's like, a, it's at an angle that must have, right behind the camera. I think we officially did it better than last week. This is great. Yeah, we are like, science is progressing. We are making the discoveries every, every week here on the Hydraulic Science Channel. I think it's time to bring on the ticker thing and see, will it break? Okay, I got the brightest idea ever. I'm going to put this like this to the bio waste bin. So when the neighbors, <laughs> neighbors open this. This is what they see. Okay, I think we are ready. And I have to say that this is almost like a sad moment for me. Because I don't know any way to improve on this. If this, if this goes off, then I think this is the best that we can do with the ball bearings. But no need to worry. I have even more deadly ideas for the breast and the ball bearings. And I'm going to start work on those after this. Mm, looks bad. Yeah, it's probably welded to get there. It, it, it was too strong. Okay, it's really like... Okay. There is sparks coming out, but... I think it's, it might be stuck. Yes. Oh my God. It made, it made a new top. Yeah. At least we did something. Yeah, Cause it was a point, right? Straight. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> so this guy is one strong son of a. I, I think, I think I have to, I have to make the exact the same size of these and harden them. Mm. And then we try again. Yeah, you wouldn't know that that had been damaged. Yeah, it's just, this is just too soft. We need to harden these and then try again. And today is a great day for the channel. We have official 10 million subscribers party here in Finland. And we are going to have a live stream from the party. It's probably around 8 of Finnish time, so like maybe 4 hours after this video comes out. I have probably made like live event already, so you can like see when it starts from there on your own time. And yeah, join us if you wanna like celebrate this achievement. And there is some surprises also on the stream, so it's it might be worth of the watch. But yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.